from the desk of Dr. G. Hello, Greenwood. I got a story for you, and I can't wait to share it. It's actually one of my all-time favorite books. Themes like perseverance and gratitude and more. I'm sure you'll find some extra themes to look for in it. But I have a prop. Before we get to this awesome book by my friend Todd Nessaloni, my prop is this tree. This thing is huge. It's not that tree. That's not the one. It's this tree. Hold on. I'm trying to learn how to work a camera backwards. I'm not doing very well. <laughs> there it is. That's the tree. That tiny little tree. But don't laugh. Don't laugh. That's the prop. Are you ready to hear the story? Like, why would Dr. G choose that tiny tree as a prop when he could have chosen that big one? Right? Stay tuned. You'll find out. All right. Here we go. Spruce and Lucy by Todd Nesloni. One day, a small tree sprouted from the ground. The tree's name was Spruce. Look familiar? Spruce was a very pleasant tree. He was always kind to all the other trees and animals in the forest. There was something different about Spruce, though. No matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't grow big and tall like all the other trees in the forest. One day, Spruce was talking to his fellow trees, and one of them said, <clears throat> Spruce, are you sick? You've been growing for years, yet you're still smaller than all the other trees. If you're always going to be such a small tree, what are you going to be good for? Mm. Spruce had never thought of this before. He'd always been really happy with his size, but now that Mr. Oak Tree brought up the fact that Spruce was so much smaller than the other trees, Spruce began to wonder what he really was good for. Look at Mr. Oak. He reaches high into the sky and gives shade to so many things. I'm too small to ever do that, thought Spruce. And look at Ms. Apple. She grows beautiful fruit on her limbs and helps feed many animals. I don't grow any fruit on my limbs. And what about Mr. and Mrs. Evergreen? They have amazing full leaves and have many different kinds of birds that want to live in them. No animal can live on the tiny leaves I've sprouted. Spruce became more and more upset, thinking he had nothing to offer anyone in the forest. And he slowly began to wilt. That reminds me, this isn't part of the book, but I'm just making a connection. Mrs. G will often talk um, to our kids and family and just remind us that comparing leads to discontentment. But when we're grateful for what we have and who we are, we can be much more content. Okay, back to the book. One day an aunt named Lucy was walking through the forest. She was very scared because she had lost her colony. She was alone. Everywhere she looked, she saw huge trees, gigantic fruit, and enormous animals. Lucy was terrified that she would never find anyone her size again. Lucy found a tiny piece of shade and began to cry. Spruce heard the sobbing. He had been so caught up in his own sadness that he hadn't even noticed the helpless ant until now. Spruce looked down and called out, What's the matter? Why are you crying? Such a good picture. Lucy looked up. A tree had never spoken to her before because she was so small. But this tree, this tree was small too. Lucy said, I've lost my colony and I'm all alone. And there are so many large things in the forest that I'm too afraid to go on. Don't cry, said Spruce. My name is Spruce, and I know all about being little. That's cool. All my family is so much bigger than me, and I often feel all alone, too. We should become friends. Spruce and Lucy became like family. Lucy never left Spruce's side, and they were always there to encourage one another. Lucy told all about her life in the colony, 
And Spruce told all about his life as a tiny tree. Whoa! <laughs> One day, Spruce was feeling upset about his size again, and Lucy noticed something was wrong. What's the matter, Spruce? asked Lucy. I just feel like I have nothing great to offer anyone, said Spruce. Every other tree has a great job except for me. That's not true, said Lucy. You have a very important job. You saved me. When I was lost in the forest and all alone, you were the only one who tried to comfort me. Even though you only have a few leaves, and even though they're small, those are still leaves who provide me with just the right amount of shade every day. Small things like me would feel completely overwhelmed without small trees like you. Spruce had never thought of it like that before. He did have an important job. Spruce had never imagined that being a small tree would ever benefit anyone, but he was wrong. Being small was just as important as being a big, tall tree. <laughs> trying to do this alone here. Okay. That made Spruce feel much better. From that day on, he never again felt sad about being a small tree. He knew that he had an important job, and he was just grateful to be alive and to have found a friend like Lucy. Lucy and Spruce lived in the forest for many more years, helping out and being kind to the small things just like them. For being small doesn't mean you can't do great things. The end. That last line, for being small doesn't mean you can't do great things. Mm, I love that story. I love that book, Spruce and Lucy by Todd Nesaloni. So a couple of themes that I talked about at the beginning, I was hoping that you'd kind of listen for the gratitude thing. I mean, just looking for little things to be grateful for. Obviously, you can see what Spruce ended up being, well, what, actually what they both ended up being grateful for, but also when it comes to us, just being grateful for little ways to connect, even though they're a little bit non-traditional, like right now, this connection that we have through story and I guess through technology, but also um, on the perseverance front, I'm thinking big time persevering through life and schoolwork, right? Even when it's getting sunny out and the sun, <laughs> the sun feels so good, we are asking you to keep putting in a great effort, you know, at being as helpful as you can with your family. Don't hesitate to reach out to me or your teachers as you need help too, because we want to help you persevere and we want to celebrate that as well. So that's all I got for you. I've enjoyed this little, little mini connection. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you.